Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the stage, President of Mobile Communications Business, DJ Ko. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here today, surrounded by an amazing audience, and joined by millions of people watching online. It's an honor to be part of this great company as we take the next big step forward to a galaxy of new experiences. When I joined Samsung more than 30 years ago, I never dreamed I'd stand on a stage like this in front of so many people. My first job at Samsung was to manage an R&D lab where we developed telephone and fax technology. I took the job to help support my parents and my family. I've come a long way since then. We've all come a long way since then. In 2007, I became the first person without direct engineering experience to lead tax strategy and R&D at Samsung. What I have learned after leading the launch of every Galaxy S device from the first generation to the seventh is how to listen and when to make a bold decision. As a company, Samsung has learned how to listen and make bold decisions too. As we go on from telephones and faxes 
to become a pioneer of mobile technology. From the start, Samsung has devoted itself to delivering value and joy to our customers. Our beginnings were humble. But our ambition has always been greater. We innovate and pioneer to overcome obstacles and realize what others only dream about. Our commitment has always been to listen, to understand what you want, to enrich your lives and connect you to the experience that you care about. Now, as president of Samsung's mobile division, I feel a deep responsibility to hundreds of millions of people around the world who love our product and inspire our work. I believe that we can transform our customers' lives with technology that demonstrates the lasting values of the company. Adapting, challenging, collaborating, and improving. I embrace this new responsibility with pride and confidence because I know we'll never assume that we know everything or presume to tell our customers what they should want. I believe we are something better than all knowing. We are human. We are human with all of our human failures. We are human in our passion to listen, learn, and understand. We are explorers in the uncharted territory where human effort and technology progress meet. Show us a problem and we will solve it. Point our barrier, we will overcome it. Share a dream, and we will help you achieve it. Tell us that the world should be flat, and we will show you a galaxy that curves endlessly into an even better future. So please, put on the gear VR that you found on your seat, and join us as we enter a new galaxy of unlimited possibilities. Ladies and gentlemen, please put on your Gear VR. Please put the hands up the, if any problem. Tell us your problem, or we'll solve it.
Ladies and gentlemen, please take off your <coughs> VR headsets. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the Samsung Galaxy S7 and Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. These are the devices. These are the devices that come from reimagining what a phone can do and what a smartphone can be. Now, please welcome my colleague Justin to the stage to learn more about these beautiful devices. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Senior Vice President of Product Strategy, Justin Dennison. Thank you, DJ. It is so great to be here with all of you, and I'm excited to tell you more about what our team has accomplished. We didn't just refine these devices, we reimagined what they could do based on how people use them and what they need most from them. Our customers were the inspiration for every innovation and every bold decision, whether an elegant line of code, a beautiful curve of metal and glass, or the ambitious new features that truly set these devices apart. S6 and S6 Edge were true innovations, but the S7 and F7 Edge take an even bigger step forward. Take a look. These devices, thank you, please. These devices have become an extension of who we are. So when we blended design and technology, we not only thought about how they look, but also how they feel. We spent months perfecting the 3D thermoforming process that brought metal and glass together seamlessly from every angle. We applied tone-on-tone -tone design so that the natural lines of the phone carried through from back to front. And now, the camera is nearly level with the glass. This is a phone that not only looks great, but feels great too. And that's important because we take these devices everywhere we go, and we want them to be comfortable in our hands. When you hold the S7 and S7 Edge, they feel like they've always belonged there. They feel smaller and thinner, with smoother edges and sleeker lines. But the screen size is just the way you like it, big and immersive. You'll really notice it when you're multitasking with the S7 Edge. And by multitasking, I don't mean switching between apps. I mean, sipping your morning espresso while you're going through your daily news feed. Now, we usually use our phones with only one hand, but that can be challenging with a larger screen. So we rethought the design of the Edge to make it easier to use when you only have one thumb to spare. 
with the S7 Edge, you can do more faster, thanks to the new and improved Edge Panel. Just slide your thumb across the edge, and the Edge Panel glides onto the display. The wider panel allows for richer content, and it's easier to read. And last month, we opened up the SDK on these devices, including the Edge Panel, so you're going to see a bunch of great third-party Edge Panels. And I encourage all the developers in the audience to check it out. There's also a new piece feature that I personally love that lets you create your own shortcuts on the task edge, like text DJ. It's a great way to bring the things you do most often right to the front of the action. And we've got a great new feature for those of you who are constantly checking your phones. Did you know? the average person checks their phone 150 times a day? Well, I'm one of those people. In fact, I'm tempted to look at my phone right now. I think it might have buzzed. But I was told it's bad form to do that on stage. And yet almost every time we reach for our phone, we have to wake it up with the button press or type in a passcode to even get the most basic information. It shouldn't have to be that way, and now it won't be. Always on display provides useful information like the time or missed call, even when the phone is off. And it does it in a power efficient way, thanks to our super AMOLED screen technology and unique power saving algorithm. It's smart enough to know when your phone is face down or in your pocket. That's when the screen goes dark. My colleagues love this feature when they're getting ready in the morning, and they just don't have a free hand to spare. For me, it's about business etiquette. You know the situation. You're in a meeting, or you're at lunch, and you need to know what time it is, but you don't want to be rude and so obviously check your watch or reach over and wake up your phone. Now, just give a quick little side glance and check the time without touching your phone. Super subtle, they'll never notice. And because these devices are so personal, we want them to reflect your style. So now you can download a bunch of great third-party screens to customize the display. And that's the thing about these devices. You want them to match your lifestyle. Even if you don't check your smartphone as much as I do, you're constantly relying on it. And that means you want it to be life-proof. Now, you know what I mean. We want our phones to go everywhere with us, but water has been kryptonite for most devices. In the past, solving this problem came with trade-offs. Making it water resistant meant adding bulk. But we didn't want to compromise, so we innovated. We reimagined what was possible. Instead of protecting the device from the outside, we thought, why not seal it from the inside? It took a lot of effort to make this work, but it worked out to be a truly elegant solution. These beauties are water resistant, rated IP68. That means they can spend up to 30 minutes submerged in a meter and a half of water. That's right. So now you can use your phone in places you never could before. You also told us that you didn't want to be fixed into a fixed amount of memory, and we get that. So thanks to some powerful innovation, we integrated a micro SD card slot. Thank you. It lets you expand your storage to meet your needs without compromising on design. Because we know what you know. Sometimes, when you go to visit the grandparents, they insist on seeing every picture you took of the kids all year long. I mean every single picture. It happens. So we took storage to the next level. In fact, we took everything to the next level. That goes for the camera too. Most smartphone cameras are optimized for daylight. I mean, that's half our lives. But what about the other half? 
some of our favorite memories happen at night. We wanted to redefine the smartphone camera so that you could take a great quality picture at any time of day. So we asked ourselves, what will it take to create a camera that takes high quality pictures in low light? Why can't we build a camera unmatched in the day and unfazed in the night? The answer is we can and we did. With Samsung's track record of relentless innovation, we knew we were up for the challenge. After all, we introduced the first mobile phone with an integrated camera way back in the 90s. And the S6 Edge was, that we created was the best smartphone camera in the world. DxO gave us the highest mobile score for outstanding image quality. So we started by adding a brighter lens. In fact, it has the largest aperture of any of our smartphone cameras. The larger aperture lets in more light. But even if you let in more light, you have to have bigger pixels to absorb it. Bigger pixels equals better pictures. Our competitors will agree with that. But Samsung took it to the next level. The pixels in our light absorbing sensor capture about are 30% larger than those in the iPhone 6S Plus. Now, let's compare the two photos taken exactly in the same environment. I see you've noticed how much brighter the one on the left is. That's the S7. It's really obvious when you take a closer look. Ours is sharp and clear. Theirs, well, I'll let you be the judge. That's what bigger pixels and a brighter lens can do. Now look, I know that was a lot, but we didn't stop there. We didn't just make the pixels bigger, we made them better. Now how many of you have had this experience? You're trying to take a photo in low light, but by the time your camera has focused, you've missed the moment. This happens all the time in low light conditions because the autofocus doesn't work fast enough. But with the S7 and S7 Edge, we become the first to embed professional camera technology called dual pixel into a smartphone. It works like human eyes. When you're looking at something with both eyes, they take in information independently, and then your brain combines it into a single image. But if you're only using one eye, it's harder for your brain to see depth and to focus quickly. With the S7 and S7 Edge, 100% of our pixels are used to focus. And every single one is configured with two eyes. Now compare that. Oh. Thank you. Compare that to the iPhone 6S Plus, and you'll see why they're so slow to focus. Less than 5% of their pixels are used this way. Now. Take a look at the images above and pay special attention to the highlighted area. A kettlebell is going to drop in the foreground and I want you to notice how much more quickly the S7 achieves focus. Are you ready? Did you see the lag in the iPhone 6S Plus? It can be the difference between catching the perfect moment and watching it go by. Let's see that one more time. With dual pixel, we've gone leaps and bounds beyond what people thought was possible. And I think you'll find it makes all the difference, especially in low light. Now, here comes my favorite new feature. It takes the wide angle experience to a whole new level. We call it motion panorama. So let's check it out. Now usually, when you take a panorama photo, it's a static image, and it shrinks down to a thin strip on your screen. But motion panorama fills your screen. And it doesn't just capture the scene, it captures the, the action, and the excitement, and the feeling of really being there. Now let me show you what I mean. Now I wanted to take a picture, a panorama, 
of my living room to show my, my folks the new furniture I'd bought. But without motion panorama, you miss what really makes my furniture mine. Yep, that's my pup Winston. He's claiming my brand new couch is his, but motion panorama caught him in the act. So as you can see, these devices redefine the smartphone camera experience. And if you're feeling especially creative, you can get an optional cover with wide angle and fisheye lenses, so that you can really bring your pictures to life in style. You're getting what's easily the best smartphone camera on the market, and you're getting a bunch of new and creative ways to have fun with it, and to capture anything you want, anytime you want, without limitations. I'd say that's pretty impressive. Now what's also impressive is how powerful the hardware is. Now we know you expect powerful performance from Samsung. You expect a phone that can keep up with you, whether you're watching a video or playing a game or doing both at the same time. We've delivered that in the past, but I have to say this time we've outdone ourselves. With every new generation of the Galaxy S series, we've made significant improvements in processing speed, and these phones are no exception. The S7 CPU is about 30% more powerful than its predecessor. We also added an improved GPU, which does the heavy lifting for graphics. It's about 60% more powerful than the one on the S6. And now, your phone can run fast without running hot. The S7's new cooling system is built with a technology first used in rockets and satellites. There's a tube containing a liquid that vaporizes at high temperatures and then condenses at lower temperatures, kind of like air conditioning for your phone. I mean, how cool is that? These devices are incredibly powerful, but they also require a lot of power. We know battery life is a big deal, that's why we say our phone is about to die. I mean, that's how grim it feels. With these devices, we've broken new ground. We engineered batteries that were incredibly large in terms of amps, but incredibly small in terms of size. <laughs> Thank you. So they fit perfectly into your slimmed down phones while giving you the power to go the distance. In fact, with the strides we've made, you can now comfortably binge watch a whole season of Game of Thrones on one charge. But for people who like to carry around some extra juice, we have new power accessories for you. The long-lasting battery and cutting-edge processors make this the most reliable smartphone you've ever owned. And they're optimized for gamers, too. So now you can play with greater confidence Instead of worrying about battery life or a slow refresh rate, you can focus on the game. Our latest advances in graphics set a new industry standard as well. That's because the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge are the first smartphones with Vulkan API, the next generation graphical interface which was brought to life thanks to a partnership between Samsung, Google, and the Kronos Group. Now, every single developer is in the room nodding their heads right now, and everyone else, like me, is saying, what? I get it. If you're like me, you don't know your Vulcan from your Voldemort. I said his name. All you have to know is that Vulcan delivers a PC-quality gaming experience on a device you can hold in your hand. We've also added a few other features to address some key needs for you gamers out there. We now have a game launcher and game tools which lets you control everything from battery usage to interruptions. You can block out calls and texts so you won't be disturbed during your gameplay. And you can lock certain keys so that you don't accidentally kick yourself out of the game with a key press. It's social too. You can record your on-screen play or use screen capture to preserve your greatest moments. And we have a Galaxy Game Pack as a special deal for you that includes over $200 of in-game currency for the biggest mobile games to kickstart your gameplay. 
These devices are easily the best in mobile gaming, but don't take my word for it. Our next speaker put the epic in epic games. He's been building games since the early 90s, and is gonna to talk to you more about the quality of the gaming experience on these devices. Please help me welcome Epic Games founder and Game Development Hall of Famer, Tim Sweeney. Thank you, Justin. For gaming, the Samsung Galaxy is a revolutionary device. Now let's take a look and see why. This scene is being rendered in real time using the Unreal Engine. It's running live, and the operator is right here in the audience. Thanks to the new Vulkan API, we can render objects four times faster than OpenGL, enabling high-end graphics with low power consumption. Now this is a simulation of celestial mechanics. Meteors are colliding and coalescing, enhanced by particle systems, emissive materials, dynamic shadows, and other physically-based rendering effects. Features that were once only possible on a high-end game console now run on a device that fits in your pocket. Now we're seeing reflections in a world with vivid lighting and full scene anti-aliasing. S7's performance and Vulcan's efficiency mean that games can have more objects, more artistry, and more interactivity than ever before. The ultimate goal of this technology to bring the visual quality of a movie to real time. Graphics this smooth and realistic will open up gaming to a larger audience than ever before. Samsung and Epic Games are committed to working together long term to advance the state of mobile gaming. This partnership will open up a galaxy of possibilities. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. We're really excited about the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, and we think you'll be too. I want to thank our customers for inspiring us to rethink what a phone can do. And I also want to thank our extraordinary engineering team for realizing that grand ambition. Now, that just leaves one important question. When can you get one? Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge will hit the shelves starting March 11th, and pre-orders will begin in a matter of days. And, Jim. But wait, there's more. And if in the US, Europe, or other select countries, you'll get a Gear VR as a gift when you pre-order. <laughs> These devices are yet another example of how Samsung innovates to meet your needs. And we don't stop there. Now let's invite DJ back to the stage to explain how all the devices work together to redefine the future of Galaxy. DJ? Thank you. Thank you, Justin. There's no question that S7 and S7 Edge are the most advanced and the most beautiful smartphones on the planet. But let's travel beyond the boundaries of the world we know and journey forward to new frontiers where the possibilities are unlimited. Today, we stand at the beginning of a new era. A decade ago, the smartphone was a miracle of the processing power, hardware capabilities, and software genius. But here, at the beginning of 2016, who doesn't take smartphones for granted? I wonder if they've seen almost everything a smartphone can deliver. 
At Samsung, we have other ideas. We are here to show you that what others see as a limit, we see as an invitation to redefine what is possible. We believe in a world that is brighter, sharper, more convenient, and more fun. But that is just a start. We are also here to show you that today's smartphones are not the end of the line for this category of devices, the S7 and S7 Edge. Each one is more than just a smartphone. It is the gateway that links you to new opportunities and the center of a seamless experiences that start from a single point and expand to include new worlds. We believe in a universe of unlimited options where the power to create is all around you. Valuable services extend what your phone can do. And meaningful partnerships redefine the experiences you can have, all with the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge at the center. I do not want to boast, but I would like to say no company is in a better position to achieve this vision than Samsung. Samsung pays another great example. We are pleased to break new ground in payment a year ago when we introduced Samsung Pay that went beyond NFC and worked on the terminals merchants already use. In addition to being already available in Korea and the US over the next few months, working with our partners, Samsung Pay will be available in seven more countries, including right here in Spain. Now, with Samsung Pay and S7, S7 Edge, we are forging new frontiers with a mobile wallet that will transform how you shop and pay almost any place you can tap or swipe a card. The universe of experiences we envision is so vast that no single company can realize them all. So we are delighted to work with great partners like Epic to deliver mobile game experiences that few have dared to imagine. We are working with Google, our special relationship partner, to transform business mobility. Building on Knox, the most robust mobile security platform in the industry, we are weaving security into all aspects of Android. Many of our partners are creating applications hardened by Knox to maximize security and privacy. The result is in the freedom to use the best tool to do any job through products and services connect to the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Partnerships are also enabling us to break new ground and introduce new categories. Let's talk about the Samsung Connect Auto. Built on Samsung Knox LTE for connectivity and the Tizen operating system for interoperability, Samsung Connect Auto is the most advanced connected car service on the market. With a simple act of plugging in our state-of-the-art onboard device, an exciting world of connectivity is immediately made available to you and to your passengers. From advanced entertainment to advanced diagnostics, we are working with leading mobile operators, insurance companies, automakers, and rental car agencies to bring new seamless products and services that are making driving safer, greener, and more fun. Since we believe, since we live in a three-dimensional world, we are also accelerating innovation and progress in virtual reality. 
In 2014, we joined with Oculus to deliver a groundbreaking virtual reality device. Now, here in 2016, we are leading the way as a virtual reality takes you beyond the borders of your physical presence. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce Gear 360, a 360 degree camera that will transform the way memories are made and experiences are shared. My colleague, Pranav Misri, will tell you more about how we are creating new dimensions to explore. But first, take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Vice President of Research, Pranav Mystery. Thank you all for joining us tonight. BJ is absolutely right. With Gear 360, what we have created is a new way to tell stories, a new way to capture the world around us. And Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge are at the very center of this experience. 360, because the real world is not in one direction. It's everywhere, all around us, kind of like this stage. We started this 360 degree journey with Project Beyond, the first true 3D 360 camera system. It is our most advanced camera, and it carries our research and engineering DNA. We gave you a glimpse of it last month at CES, and over the past few days, we have taken it all over the world to big events and some beautiful places. Project Beyond is an extraordinary tool for all you professional photographers out there. But what about the rest of us? Why can't we capture those everyday moments and enjoy them with friends in a much more immersive way? Now we can, with Gear 360. We designed Gear 360 to help you tell your story, to capture those fun parts of life in new ways. Here is a video I recently got from my friends. They are definitely having fun here in Barcelona. And because they are using Gear 360, we can see everything, the full picture. This is a new kind of camera. It lets us virtually travel from one place to another. That means the next time when I go hiking in Redwood Forest in California, I can bring along my family in India. They can see what I see. And in a way, they can join me on that hike. My parents are going to love this. So now, I really want to show you how beautiful this is. And here it is, Gear 360. <laughs> A small sphere packed with the best of our technologies, 30 megapixel combined from the two powerful lenses an aperture of f2.0, so you can capture the scene no matter where you are. And it is seamlessly connected to your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. You can preview live what you are recording. You can see your 360 photos and videos directly from your phone gallery and post them seamlessly on your social media. But let's also talk about VR. Now, you can create 360 virtual reality experiences on your own. And your S7 in your pocket will do all the software magic and prepare your videos to be watching on Gear VR. 
with Gear 360, there's only one question we need to ask. Where should we go today? Today, we can capture 360 degrees of life. We can create immersive experiences that put you in the center and transport you to the places you always wanted to go. This new world of Gear VR and Gear 360 is more than virtual reality. We call it other reality. And with S7 and S7 Edge at its center, we are truly redefining what a phone can do. So now how about I give you a demo of this new world? And to do so, let's once again put on the gear VR that is in front of you. But this time, let's look all around you. Left, right, up, down, behind you. Be careful of your people next to you, though. And keep watching right until the end because we have got a great surprise for you there. Okay, so is everyone ready? Now let's go somewhere. Ahora sí. Yeah, right. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to founder and CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, everyone. Hey, it's great to be here. It's, it's, so, it's an honor to be here today. You know, I started learning how to program computers when I was 11 years old. And I still remember sitting in my middle school math class, uh, writing out code in my notebook, because I didn't have a computer with me, and drawing sketches of a world where instead of just navigating uh, to 2D websites, you could transport yourself entirely uh, to a whole other place and feel like you were really there in reality. And since then, I've been interested in this idea of virtual reality, and I've been waiting for the day to come when we could deliver this experience. Now, today, thanks to this partnership between Samsung and Facebook, this is now possible, and that day is here. And it wouldn't be possible to deliver this experience at this scale and this price without Samsung's experience and excellence in hardware and systems, and all of Facebook's experience delivering software, and, of course, with Oculus technology. At Facebook, we think about giving people richer and richer tools uh, for sharing and experiencing everything that they want in the world. You know, going back about 10 years, most of what we shared and experienced uh, was text. And then it was photos. And now we're entering into a world where that's video. But pretty soon, we're going to live in a world uh, where everyone has the power to share and experience um, whole scenes as if you're just there, right there in person. You know, I, I think about my, my baby daughter and the way that I want to remember uh, when she takes her first steps. When I took my first steps, uh, my parents uh, just took a pen and wrote down the date in a baby book. Uh, my, uh, when my cousin, uh, when her son took her, his first steps, she took a photo with a camera. Uh, my sister, when, when her son took his first steps, she took a video on her phone. But I want to capture the whole scene. Uh, so you know, I hope that we can take a 360 video. So that way, even if my parents and my family aren't there to experience it in person, they can feel like they're right there with us. VR is the next platform, where anyone can create and experience anything that they want. You know, right now, VR is still mostly used for games and entertainment, 
But that's quickly evolving. And one day, you're going to be able to put on a headset, and that's going to change the way that you live and work and communicate. So you know, imagine being able to sit in front of a campfire and hang out with your friends anytime you want, or be able to uh, watch a, vi a movie in a private theater uh, with your friends anytime you want. Imagine holding a group meeting or event uh, anywhere in the world that you want. All these things are going to be possible. And that's why Facebook is investing so much early on in virtual reality. So we can help to deliver these kinds of new social experiences. VR is going to be the most social platform. Now, that's also why we've worked with Samsung to deliver Gear VR. Gear VR is by far the best mobile VR experience. And that's because it combines uh, the best hardware uh, from Samsung with the best VR software uh, from Facebook with Oculus. Samsung is the only company in the world that can deliver at scale uh, the low persistent OLED screens that are required uh, to give a good, comfortable VR experience. And that's because these OLED screens are the only screens uh, that can update uh, faster than your eye. No other screen and display or company can deliver this experience. Samsung is the leader in designing and shipping hardware like the Gear VR quickly and affordably. And of course, we've, we've used Oculus uh, software to deliver other aspects of high quality VR like head tracking, uh, really fast rendering, 360 sound, and of course, a whole ecosystem of apps and content through the Oculus Store. Together, this is by far the best mobile VR experience that you can get. Now, we've also worked with Samsung to make Gear VR affordable. Last summer, Jay Lee and I went for a walk, and we talked about how we can bring this experience to the most people possible. And after that, we decided to target a $99 price. And we worked hard to refine the hardware to make this possible. And you know, the results are in, and it's already paying off. Because this year, millions of people will get their hands on a Gear VR. There are already more than 200 games and apps available for Gear VR in the Oculus Store. And here's a new stat for you. More than one million hours of video have already been watched in Gear VR. So we've, all, we've only just started to explore uh, what's possible with video and VR. And as we work with Samsung uh, to build this experience uh, for, for Gear VR, we're also working to push the whole state of the technology forward. So you know, over the last year, we've been working to make Facebook uh, the best platform for 360 videos. And video is already some of the most engaging content uh, that you'll see online. There are already, every day, uh, more than 100 million hours of video content are watched on Facebook. But 360 videos are even more immersive. You know, because you aren't just watching passively, you feel like you're actually there. You're actually surfing in Tahiti, or flying with the Blue Angels, or exploring the surface of Mars. Our community already loves 360 videos. And every day, already, more than uh, a million people are watching 360 videos on Facebook. And more than 20,000 of them have been uploaded, and hundreds of new ones are uploaded every day. But it's still really early for 360 videos. And we're only a few years into experiencing this kind of high quality 360 content. But one day soon, all of us are going to have the power to broadcast live uh, what we're doing whenever we want. So that way, our friends and families and the people we care about can experience it as if they're right there with us. But of course, to get there, we're going to have to solve a lot of really complex technology and engineering challenges. An example of an important breakthrough uh, we call dynamic streaming for VR video. The idea is that instead of delivering the whole video in a high resolution, we just focus on the part that you're looking at. And this allows us to uh, deliver the video with a much higher uh, resolution and quality, about 4x, while also reducing the overall bandwidth consumed uh, for streaming the video by about 4x. So this is just one example of how Facebook is driving all this VR software forward. And I'm excited to announce uh, that we're bringing all of this technology to Gear VR 
in the next few weeks. So there are lots of other challenges that we need to do to uh, solve to create great VR experiences. And Facebook, uh, with Oculus, are committed to this for the long term. We've recently created new teams at Facebook to build the next generation of social apps in VR. And there are hundreds of incredible uh, content titles coming to the Oculus Store this year, including Minecraft. And since the Oculus team joined Facebook, we've put hundreds of our best engineers on this to make much faster progress than the industry would have otherwise. So we're committed to building the best VR experiences in the world. And we're excited to be focused on, on building uh, this next important computing platform that has the potential to change all of our lives and to be doing it with Samsung. The best is still to come, and we are proud to be working together on this. Thank you, and now here's DJ Ko again. Well done. Well done. Well done. Maybe they may yeah, ask so the last of the photos and uh, All right. give them the chance to be able to take a This is going bit. really well. Yeah. yeah. So far, so far, so good. But something left. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. For your partnership, your leadership, and your bold vision. We look forward to working with you to bring this incredible future to life. At Samsung, we've been leading the progress and innovation in the mobile industry for almost three decades. Every device we deliver, every service we offer, every experience we make possible comes from our commitment to find the doorways where most people see barriers. It is great to step beyond the boundaries of the world we know today and discover a universe of new possibilities. So we will keep breaking down barriers. And you will be at the heart of our inspiration and innovation. Thank you all for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, the product experience areas are now open. Media, please head.